I'm sitting here with Kelly Flowers from Volunteers for Outdoor Colorado. Thank you so much for meeting us here this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me. So um, I'm here today to tell you about a volunteer project we have coming up, um, Volunteers for Outdoor Colorado, also known as VOC. We're a nonprofit, and we actually started back in 1984, about 35 years ago, all to really give people you know, a way to give back to the outdoor places where we love to play. Um, so our public lands from city and county owned open spaces to state parks and national forest. And so next Saturday, October 13th, we have a volunteer project over in Edwards um, in the single tree community. And we're actually going to be removing an old barbed wire fence. Um, and the reason that's so important is because that fence is about 50 years old. Um, it's left over from when the land was a privately owned cattle ranch. But now that fence really poses a risk, a risk to wildlife. So it's really easy for the deer and the elk and even birds to get caught up in that fence. Um, leading to injury, you know, entanglement, possibly getting stranded, especially if they're young or pregnant or the snow is falling. So getting volunteers out there to remove that fence really will do a huge favor uh, for the wildlife out here. Which is so incredible. There are those photos that do surface on the internet that are of the animals tangled in barbed wire, mm -hmm. and it literally breaks my heart. So I'm so glad you guys are doing this. Yeah, yeah, it's super important. Um, and the Forest Service, who currently manages that land, they really don't have the resources right now to remove that fence on their own. And so it's really up to, you know, just everyday people and volunteers to get out there and do this work. Are people, do people need to register in advance to come in to do this? Yeah, so we do ask people to register ahead of time at voc.org. Um, we do provide breakfast and lunch and all of those tools. So registering ahead of time really helps us make sure we have enough, you know, equipment for everybody and just make sure everybody has a good time. And it looks like this has been done recently because we're showing some photos of this yeah. activity happening somewhere yeah. else? No, so that was actually in the same location um, over in Edwards. And so we were actually there last year um, working in that same location. And so we had about 40 volunteers last year, and they were able to remove um, half a mile of fence. Wow. So, yeah, in just six hours. So can so, accomplish a lot. Yeah. How much fence are you guys an anticipating on removing? Well, we're going to have about 40 people again, um, mm -hmm. so we're hoping to remove kind of about that same amount. But it is, you know, an ongoing project, and we'll probably have to be back next year again and yeah. just kind of keep at it. How, so how much fence total is there to be removed? There's a good few um, miles, I believe. Um, yeah. It kind of stretches across the landscape right now, across that Forest Service land. So um, the more people we can get out there and the more groups we can have out there, the more we can remove and hopefully get it done sooner. Um, especially, you know, before the snow falls and really give wildlife a clear way. Yeah, to get down to these lower mm -hmm. elevations so that they have some food. Yeah, yeah, you know, keep them alive and fat, <laughs> hopefully, and Happy keep them and thriving. healthy. Yeah, yeah that's seriously. the plan. Okay, so one more time, where can mm -hmm. people go to register and when is the event again? So the event is next Saturday, October 13th, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., so you'll be home in time for dinner. Uh, and you can register online at voc.org. It's open to uh, volunteers ages 14 and up. Kelly, thank you so much. Like she said, they're going to be providing breakfast, lunch, and all of the supplies that you need. So go register and help protect our wildlife. It's such a big part of what makes our community our community and kind of living in the mountains exactly what it is. So make sure that you volunteer and go help them remove some barbed wire fencing. Again, that's next Saturday, October 13th. Kelly, thank you again. We've got another little bit of Good Morning Vale left. We're going to see what tomorrow's show has in store for you, so stay tuned.